things are a little bit further along. So I've got uh, both valve covers uh, removed, cleaned, uh, valve cover gaskets and hardware replaced. So nice fresh bolts, uh, nice black bolts. Uh, fuel pumps replaced. Uh, these guys, I swapped over my integrated engineering uh, larger pistons. So these are the upgraded high pressure pumps now, uh, but just nice fresh bodies from Hitachi. Um, next is leak down checks, uh, just to see what kind of condition the cylinders are in. I'll pull the plugs, a little use a little bore cam, and uh, have a look see to see what things look like inside, uh, and do leak down. Uh, I'm not expecting anything out of the ordinary, but always good to check. And then uh, there's a little bit of carbon buildup, so I'll do uh, a quick carbon clean while I've got the manifold off. Uh, manifold's just off, again, just a, a check, but I have, I have decided to pull the flaps, so I've already pulled the port separators here, um, and I will remove the flaps uh, finally in the manifold because uh, now that I'll have the e-boosters running shortly, uh, e-boosters will be able to make up for any kind of low-end torque that is lost uh, from removing these flaps. But that'll be good preventative maintenance. Um, and next step is also to uh, pull the cooling uh, pipes here, get the alternator and motor mount brackets and whatnot off so I can pull the headers off and send those off to Jet Hot to get coated. So while those are off getting coated, I'll do the rest of the work on the uh, engine, get things freshened up, um, and then uh, when the exhaust comes, the headers come back, I'll get those, uh, I'll wrap those a little bit with some fiberglass to, for some additional insulation, and then, bloop, she'll go right back in the car, um, and uh, then it's on to some wiring. So, anyways, that's where uh, she's at currently. And I got a little helper today. Hey, Samantha. <laughs> Cutie.